Prediction time. How's it going to go down on September 28th? Showtime, Sean Porter. We'll put a man down and show y'all the truth. God bless. Errol Spence Jr., your prediction for September 28th. Man, I'm knocking his ass out. This dude, this same dude that had a tough fight with Granados. So I'm not trying to hear none of y'all talking about it. Every time he stepped up, he lost it. The only person he stepped up and beat was Danny Garcia. When he fought Keith Thurman, Kel Brook came over here and took the belt from him and hurt him a couple of times. What's your so prediction, Eric? I'm, I'm going to beat you up. You know I'm going to punish you. Like you no, know all the talking. I'm gonna What's your prediction? You know I'm going to punish you. How is a fight against Sean Porter different than what you just faced in Mikey Garcia? Um, it's not really no difference. Um, you know, I'm, me personally, I'm looking in to make it easier than the Mikey Garcia fight. So, you know, I hear a lot of talking from him and his father and how they've been talking. So I'm definitely going to put on a showcase performance and uh, I'm looking to put on, you know, a uh, great performance and hopefully a stoppage. What do you say to that, Sean? I, uh, I think he knows this is not an easy fight for him. He knows, you know, I'm not going to talk about you like you're not right here. You know this is not easier than Mikey Garcia. You know this ain't going to be no wash. You know you're going to have to get ready, and I will be ready. All right. Well, it is official. We don't know when or where <laughs> yet, but this fight is going to go down, and if it's anything like the action right here, right now, we know it's going to be epic. Coming? I don't know. <laughs> Sean, what is, I won't be there. What, what is your reaction? Uh, he said that uh, he respects you as a fighter, but that the fight is personal, not because of you, but because of comments your father has made leading up to this fight. Errol Spence? Yes. Man, uh, anything that's been said publicly uh, about my fight with Errol uh, is all that's been said by Errol. Um, Errol's putting his own foot in his mouth. Uh, Errol's um, picking up things that other people were saying to him. Um, that do not come directly from myself or from my dad. Um, you know, he's the one that got in the ring the night that I beat Danny Garcia and said that he wanted to fight me next. Verbatim, I love you, I love your father, but on fight nights, it's all it's all about business. We'll leave it at that. You know what I mean? Leave it at you love me, you love my dad, and then on fight night, it's all about business. You know, why, why are we talking now? You know, why are we, why are we talking about you dress better than me. Why are we talking about uh, the job that I have could have been yours? Why are we talking? Let's stop talking. beautiful people we just three weeks away from Earl Spence and Sean Porter this is my third installment on the road to Earl Spence and Sean Porter it's gonna be live at the Staples Center I'm looking forward to this fight um, my fourth and final video will be later it'll be towards the uh, fight fight night probably and then I'll do a post video reaction to it as well and uh, but uh my pre video I'll get, give my thoughts about the pay per view overall and the other fights, things of that nature. But right now I wanna focus on this one. Um I'm gonna title this one uh Confidence and Consistency. Um this is important. This is not really about who's been the most confident or who's been the most consistent between the two per se. But let's talk about it. Um, being confident in yourself and being consistent is very uh, important in anything you do in life. Um, there is a ways to tell the story about somebody having a false sense of security, 
or if somebody has like a, a false bravado, someone not being themselves, because you're going to see the consistency. Or if someone has a dual personality, you're going to see consistency. And that's why I'm bringing that up right now. The word consistency. Um, both men have been consistent in my book. Um, both men are confident in my book. I think one man is more confident than the other, though, for sure. And the reason why I want to bring up this is because a lot of people have said that Sean Porter has not been consistent. If you're going to base shit off last year, then hell yeah, I 100% agree with you. But since this fight was made, I think Sean Porter has been very consistent. Um, and actually, all in all, in his personality, he's been consistent. If you've been paying attention and watching, um, the, um, I was watching a live stream with Blue Blood Sports. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed. If you haven't, you're losing. Um... My thing is this, he was talking about maybe Sean Porter was showing a dual personality or maybe who he truly is and maybe the goody two-shoe image he presents, the good wholesome Christian image he presents is maybe the the uh, cover. But now lately since he's been talking a little trash, he might not have been that dude. You know, he's showing the, a different side, his true side. But to me, the way I look at it, from what I've been paying attention to him, that's just like a duality. A lot of people got a lot of dual personality about themselves. I mean, you got the humble side and you got the beastly side. Everybody, I think, has that. Um, some people can turn it on and off. Some people can't control it. Some people show one one side more than the other. I think uh, Sean is humble overall. Um, he showed me that. I think Sean overall has that dog in him. He has that trash talk in him. I've seen Sean talk shit before. I've seen Sean show that inside the square circle. I mean, Sean is a whole different dude in that ring. And um, Earl Spence is the same way. He's very humble, very, very uh, nice. I never met neither one of the two before, but, you know what I mean, that's what, that's what I kind of observe from the two, and they both can be pretty vicious in the ring, but as far as... You know, trash talk, we've seen both of them talk trash before. This ain't nothing new to nobody. I mean, we've seen both of them talk a whole lot of shit. And Spence has a subtle way of getting into your head and talking shit. Like, he's been talking shit about K. Diddy, which bothers Sean Porter. He's been talking shit about the way he dressed. You know, the way Sean Porter dressed. And he talked about how he could have had his job. That bothers Sean Porter. Sean Porter thinks he's a hater. And he wants to take his place, and he wants that WBC belt. And uh, Sean has been looking to get that IBF belt back for quite some time, whether he wants to tell you that or not. But I think uh, right now the other side of Sean Porter is going to come out even more. For one, he's already told people from the outset that his goal is, is to sell the fight. He said he was going to sell the hell out of the fight. And he's been consistent with doing so. He's done a great job on that show on Fox. He's done a great job in every interview he's done, at the press conference, all that good stuff, man. He got his people coming, saying it's showtime. And what time is it? Showtime. And he's been, you know, man down. He's going to be a man down. And he ain't really let up from that. So that's what I like to see. But see, the thing about consistency is, though, when you're very consistent, it's hard to cut it off because that's just what you do and that's what you are. And the bad side for Sean Porter is, is that he's a puppet. He said that himself publicly in an interview. Um, I think he is his dad's puppet. He does whatever the fuck he's told. And he feels like that's what took this fight so long. You know, um, IBF title lost, took him off the ranks, tell me where to go. I think that's from the first start of it. Well, let's see what he does when uh, he gets the IBF title. Spence gets it. They wait and see what he does as far as defending it. He strategically did a lot of things to to uh, lead up to this point Spence has. Um, he did a smart job. You know, I guess Al Heyman definitely advised him very well. 
because, I mean, the moves he made kept him in a position to win, and, you know, he didn't, you know, do anything to really uh, mess that up. So now that he saw all this, now K. Diddy wants him to go ahead and fight Spence, to go ahead and unify a title. And he pretty much is the type of guy and a very loyal guy to his dad. You know, wherever he pretty much wants him to do, he does it. And that's pretty much what it is. Um, I think that's not a good part of his consistency, to be honest. Um, and it can hurt his confidence sometimes, too. But I think he's very consistent in training camp. He's done everything necessary, bringing in uh, guys like uh, Andrade and uh, Benavidez, uh, guys with quick hands, long arms, and some, some pop in a punch. That should help him out. Um, I think that made sense to me. It made sense to me why he brought those guys in. And it should help him in the fight. It will. Period. Um, with Earl Spence, I think um, – his confidence is great. I love his confidence. He's probably the most confident fighter I've seen in a while. Him, him, and Crawford and Wilder, but uh, Earl got a, a kind of uh, a good confidence about him. He's a systematic beast in the ring. He breaks down his opponents very well, and he's very consistent and and pursuing uh, his opponent. Even when he's behind on points, he knows how to come back and breaks his opponents down. Um, but he may be kind of overconfident in some situations. This is where his confidence may hurt him. Uh, he has consistently said he's going to knock Sean Porter out. He has consistently said that he is going to make this an easier fight than Mikey Garcia. And uh, looking at Sean Porter and looking at his resume and things he's done in the ring, I really don't see that. What is Earl Spence basing this off of is what I'm trying to figure out. I heard him mention Adrian Granados. He had a tough fight with Granados. That is not a measuring stick in what he can do with Sean Porter in that ring. That could be a mistake as well for him. I'm not doubting he can knock him out, but he's going to have to stick to the script, man. He's going to have to be very, very, very consistent with this guy because Sean Porter is like a unleashed pit bull in the ring. He moves around a lot. He does funny angles. Yes, he does tend to throw wild shots, haymakers, things of that nature. He comes in head first consistently, but, however, he's not a tomato can, man. He's not one of these dudes from the Telemundo network, okay? Um, I got to keep saying that, man. He has a tough jaw. You know what I mean? Um... This guy is going to be a problem. You know, he's gonna it's gonna be a hell of a fight, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be a duel, man. But it's not gonna be what uh probably most Spence fans may think. It's not gonna be that easy. And um Spence needs to focus on just boxing and, and uh winning round by round. And um Stay focused on strictly that. Don't engage in any more talks about Manny Pacquiao, Terrence Crawford, etc. Just focus, focus, focus. Um, I think for the most part, I can't say totally, but I think his tunnel vision is pretty, uh, pretty uh, good. I know Sean Porter's is. I mean, Sean Porter's probably thinking, dreaming, sweating, drinking Earl Spence right now. So, you know, that's what makes this uh, fight the fight is going to be. I think it's going to be a long night. I don't think it's going to be a short night unless uh, either one, Earl, Earl Spence or Sean Porter, can be consistent enough to uh, open up what they're looking for and to win. But I'm telling you something right now about Earl Spence, man. He's, he's a tough, tough dude, man. He just keeps on coming. He can take a licking and keep on ticking. And so can Sean Porter. You know, um, it's going to come down to more than just brawn and brute strength. It's going to have to be a thinkers man's matchup, and whoever is the most consistent will win this fight. Peace.